Our countdown to Rio continues, now 43 days away from the start of the Summer Olympic Games. 24 Hour News 8's Jack Doles will be in Rio to cover the games. For the past week, he's been sharing stories of Michigan's connection to this summer's games. And he joins us right now with another. Jack? Yeah, Susan, uh, Granville native Mike Winalda is by no means a lock to make the U.S. Olympic team in Rio, but... He has put off his career in order to pursue a lifelong dream. And he says whether he realizes that dream or not, it's been worth the sacrifice. In almost any other country, Mike Winalda would be a near lock to make an Olympic team. But in this country, in his event, he's a long shot to make the U.S. team in Rio. It's definitely going to be a tough, tough event to make, but I think it's definitely my best shot. Winalda finished 10th at the trials in the 200 freestyle in 2012. The top six made the team. He could have hung up his speedo after graduating from Michigan, but opted to continue chasing his dream instead. You know, kind of, you know, at that point now, where it's like the last final stretch, so feeling good about it, ready to, ready to move on to a career, but, you know, this is my life dream, so, you know, got to make it happen. Making it happen means two two-hour swim sessions a day. Mike estimates he cranks out about 10 miles per day when he's in full training mode. How many times have you, you know, woken up and said, I don't want to do this today? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Every day is a struggle, but, I mean, we have such a good group of guys here that... Not only do I see them at the pool, but everywhere outside the pool, they're always, you know, always there to keep that fire burning and keep that fire lit. So whenever you're, you know, feeling down, you always have a team to look to, and they pick you back up. He trains with Club Wolverine under the watchful eye of Mike Bottom, who recruited him out of Granville High School and coached him to a Big Ten championship in Michigan. Bottom knows that with swimmers like Michael Phelps and Ryan Lochte competing in the 200, the odds are stacked against Winalda. He'll have to take about a second and a half off his personal best. But Bottom isn't counting him out. He's very fortunate to have uh, one of the fastest 200 freestylers in history in the collegiate ranks uh, in, in a relay swim. So he, we know that he has that possibility. With only a handful of practices left in his swim career, Mike will keep an eye on the countdown clock in Canham Auditorium. Knowing his days of living paycheck to paycheck are almost over, a new career awaits. Whether he makes the Olympic team or not, he'll take solace in the fact he did everything he could in pursuit of his Olympic dream. Definitely uh, some sadness that it will be all be over, but uh, also happy too, you know, it's just turning a new page, moving on to a career and being able to work and, you know, Kind of moving on to something new, it feels like. So I'm kind of excited for that. Yeah, if Mike can muster a top six finish in the 200 free, he'll make the U.S. Olympic relay team. He'll have to be at his absolute best to do that. Swim trials begin Sunday in Omaha, Nebraska. All right, Jack, thank you. And as the countdown to Rio continues, 24-hour news aid is your place for all-around coverage. Before Jack heads to Rio to cover the games, we'll have stories about athletes with Michigan ties airing every day on your 24-hour news aid at 5, leading right up to the opening ceremonies on August 5th.